Welcome everyone. So today we are going to solve a very nice factorial problem which is 10 factorial upon x factorial equals to 7 factorial. Now a lot of people think that we can cancel the factorials and all of that. You know, it doesn't work like that. Okay. So here in this kind of a scenario what we will do. First let's understand what is a factorial. See students whenever you have an exclamation sign ahead of a number you can expand this by multiplying this number with the next consecutive number in the decreasing order and you have to keep doing this until and unless you reach 1 okay so now your first thing what we will do is we will shift the x factorial on the other side and this becomes what 10 factorial upon 7 factorial so now i can say the x factorial is nothing but what 10 Let's expand this. So, we, this can be written as what? 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Okay. And this expansion of 7 factorial is nothing but what? 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Now please understand students, see rather than writing all of this, if you see what is 7 factorial, that is nothing but what this entire thing and you say this entire thing is getting repeated over here. So actually what we could have done is instead of doing all of this, we could have directly said x factorial is nothing but what 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 factorial upon 7 factorial, correct? And here what will happen next is you can directly cancel this. Now what you are left with is x factorial and this is what we are left with 10 into 9 into 8. Okay so now in this kind of a scenario please understand see here your x also has a factorial sign ahead. So in this kind of a scenario you need to expand 10, 9, 8 in such a way that you get a factorial value. Now let's understand how do we do that. So here what I can say is x factorial is what? Instead of 10 we can write this as what? 2 into 5. Instead of 9 I can write this as what? 3 into 3. And instead of 4, 8 I can write this as what? 4 into 2. So let's try because we are trying to write everything in terms of factorial. So we'll obviously everything is still multiplied by 1. We'll write 1 into 2. So this 2 is cancelled. Then into 3 into 4 so 5 also gets cancelled now what we can do is see 3 and 2 are left and 3 into 2 is what 6 so here this is x factorial now we know that this is nothing but the expansion of which factorial yes you guessed it right this is nothing but expansion of 6 factorial so now you can say therefore value of x is nothing but just 6 I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.